Our life is full of puzzles. When a puzzle is simple, we can easily solve it on our own. Over time, we learn to piece together larger puzzles. Understanding that tackling more complex problems often requires collective effort. Today, we face a great deal of complex problems. Global health crises, extreme weather events, poverty, lack of access to education, superbug infections. We can enlist more and more people to collectively work towards the solutions. But what if the complexity of these problems is beyond our existing resources or abilities? And what if the solutions are needed urgently? Well, today, our collective efforts have a superpower, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence can be used to solve previously insurmountable challenges by using technology to multiply and scale human effort. According to the United Nations, some of the most pressing environmental, social, and economic challenges of our civilization will be among the biggest beneficiaries of AI technologies. These are global problems that need urgent solutions. And artificial intelligence gives us a toolbox of powerful tools that can be used to multiply our efforts and fuel extraordinary progress. Yet, these extraordinary capabilities of AI also trigger a great deal of fear and apprehension. How do we keep up with a technology that moves so fast? Will AI take over our jobs, making us irrelevant? Will AI empower the worst elements of humanity? Can AI get a mind of its own and destroy us? Today, I invite you to lift our gaze from these immediate fears surrounding AI, and instead consider our ability to influence the trajectory of this powerful technology. Imagine AI as a mighty river flowing through the landscape of progress. Trying to stop AI is like trying to reverse the flow of this river. It's not just difficult, it's practically impossible. Resisting the currents of AI is akin to building barriers in an effort to stop the inevitable flow. But such resistances don't stop the river. They only create stagnant pools that stop us from benefiting from the technological stream. Now, Consider this river as a global force. All countries are participants in this global network, and their ability to navigate the currents of AI determines their position in a global landscape. If we, out of fear or hesitation, slow down our progress, we anchor our boat in the middle of a rapidly moving river. While we struggle to hold our ground, others are sailing ahead, making strides in innovation and growth. If we choose to stay anchored in the past, we risk becoming isolated islands, more and more disconnected from the mainstream of progress. So let's discuss two commonly held fears about AI. First, the fear that AI could deepen the existing biases and inequalities in our society. Bias is not inherent to technology. In fact, machines don't have values, but they will adopt our values. Just like children adopt the attitudes, beliefs, and biases from their parents and their environment, AI models learn from data and therefore adopt our beliefs and biases. And just like parents bear responsibility to be role models that promote diversity, critical thinking, and unbiased perspective in their children, we too bear responsibility to train AI models with data that uphold our values. So let's envision what values we want to uphold. Fairness, ethical choices, equity, and then insist that developers use the latest research to create AI models in accordance with these principles. After all, we don't ban cars due to the risk of accidents. Instead, we insist on driver education and enforce strict traffic rules to ensure safe and responsible driving. Similarly, we don't ban electronic banking transactions fearing fraud. 
Instead, we insist on the use of an encrypted communication to keep our information secure and private. The same principle applies to artificial intelligence. We can advocate for responsible training of AI systems, using the latest scientific research to measure, detect, and eliminate biases. We can insist that diverse teams of individuals are used in training these systems so that collectively we are more aware of biases and are able to consider a diverse range of perspectives. As we speak, governments worldwide are in the process of creating frameworks for safe and responsible use of artificial intelligence, much like parents creating rules for the children to be safe. The good news is that this movement towards responsible AI solutions cannot rely on the efforts of a single genius or even a handful of exceptional individuals. While it may sometimes feel that only those with background in technology can contribute to the development of AI, that is not the case. Policymakers, educators, individuals with background in law and ethics, and many other multidisciplinary, diverse thinkers are needed to bring in different perspectives and collectively steer AI toward positive impact. If you're involved in policymaking, there is vital work to be done to find the right balance between introducing safeguards to keep AI systems safe and avoiding excessive regulations that would stifle innovation. If you're involved in education, adopting AI-driven tools makes you a crucial partner in providing feedback to AI developers so that AI models are aligned not with strategies that computer scientists and engineers think are best, but with proven strategies that you, as a seasoned educator, know to be effective. Within the business sector, input from people with expertise in specific domains is instrumental in making AI models more useful and more aligned to our long-term goals. And if you work in healthcare, you can be part of the major effort to collect inclusive data, covering diverse populations, health conditions, and demographics, so that AI models can learn from data that is representative of all of us. If the possibilities of AI intrigue you, this is the time to get involved and help shape its direction in a way that aligns with your values. Now, let's consider the second fear, the fear of job losses to AI. Throughout history, technological shifts have indeed led to job displacements, but also to the creation of new industries and opportunities. So rather than yearning for the past and trying to desperately stop the flow of AI, this may be our opportunity to rethink how we can contribute to the world. Can artificial intelligence liberate us to emerge in new ways, to do things that we were too busy to imagine before? What do we want the role of humans to be if machines can do many tasks more efficiently than we can? Should we re-examine the way we, we educate our kids? What kind of future are we hoping to create? While transitions are undeniably difficult, history shows us that technology can enhance human capabilities and creativity. The nature of our work will change, but this may be a change that leads to more growth and opportunities. So let's look beyond the fear of AI and view this time as a transformation where we hold the power to adapt and reimagine our contributions. So we've just examined two commonly held fears, AI's potential to deepen our biases and its impact on our jobs. Yet it's important to realize that fears, while valid and must be taken seriously, can also narrow our view of reality. When we focus on fear, we lose sight of the incredible progress that artificial intelligence is making all around us. AI reduces the environmental impact of the food on your table while making it healthier. AI provides one-on-one -on -one educational support for the world's most marginalized children. AI helps us mobilize environmental efforts, 
Healthcare and medicine are increasingly transformed by AI. And in scientific research, I witness in my daily work how once insurmountable challenges are transformed to solvable problems using the new toolbox that is offered to us by AI. Most importantly, moments that create human connection can never be replaced by AI. Holding the hand of a person who's been part of your life, knowing that they will not be here for much longer, will not be taken away by AI. Yet AI advancements in understanding drug interactions can help a person reach this moment with less pain and more dignity. Being deeply moved and brought to tears by a virtuoso performing live, that cannot be taken away by AI. Humans are meant to create and witnessing extraordinary human achievement deeply resonates with us. Feeling alive because you just had the eureka moment, that cannot be taken away by AI because it is about you reaching a new milestone in your understanding of the world. Yet AI can lead you to more moments like this. And beyond these extraordinary moments, what can AI offer us in our day-to-day -day life? Well, AI can extend us the gift of time, creating more space for the uniquely human experiences. On a small scale, AI can give us more time for the day-to-day -day connections with those we love as it manages the many routine tasks that so often consume our lives. On a large scale, AI can give us more time with our loved ones through the early detection of debilitating diseases when our medical systems have a real chance of success at treating them. So, today we stand at a crossroad faced with a choice, given to fear and anchor ourselves in the past, or step up and shape this powerful river we call AI. The future of AI depends on what we do today. Artificial intelligence is a force. Let's harness this force for good. Thank you.